Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I am going to talk about a very interesting topic how to run LLM locally or say how to run large language model on your own system. So without any further delay let's get started. So first of all before running LLM locally we should first understand why do we need to do this. Why can't we simply go ahead and use the existing infrastructure provided by the respective LLM providers. Now there could be various reasons behind this but there are few which are the most prominent ones I can think of and here are those. So the cost is one of the important factor and which is like most of us are concerned about this particular factor and if we are using the infrastructure provided by someone else then definitely we have to pay for it whether it is in the terms of tokens or in terms of processing power and with time this expense is surely going to increase it's never going to come down another and the equally important reason behind uh, this local deployment is data privacy so there are lot many individuals or organizations who are not comfortable uh, getting their data up on the internet or they do not want that data to trawl publicly over the internet or on somebody else server. They want everything to be in their organizational boundaries. So in such cases if we have entire system set up locally then we can assume that we are in safe hands. Next comes is offline availability. Now due to network issues it is not possible for everyone to keep connected with the internet at all the times. So if you have everything available locally, then you can work offline without worrying about all these headaches. Next one is experimentation curiosity and this is my personal favorite. So there are times where you feel like playing with the system, experimenting with the system in order to understand it better. And I'm sure most of you will agree with me on this that whenever we are experimenting something we want to save as much as possible whether in terms of money or in terms of network latency or anything else you can think of. The last one I can think of is cloud environment. So although it's been a while we are using cloud environments but still there are many people around who prefer to use their local environment over cloud services and they may have their own reasons whether they are not comfortable with that or whether they are not aware how much cost is going to occur. So all these things could be their parameter why they do not want to move on to cloud environments. So I guess we have enough reasons to convince ourselves about why to run LLMs locally. Let's proceed further and look at some of the challenges. So right now we are doing like pathless travel so definitely we can expect some challenges here and there. So the very first one is setting up the system from scratch. You need to take care of everything starting from package installation to processing power. So you are forced to read the documentation or guideline carefully along with the tooling versions because even a sim uh, small python version mismatch can put you into the trouble and you may end up with a huge mess. So this is a step which needs to be executed very carefully. Next comes the compatibility which is again a major challenge because if you will look at various models like Llama, GPTQ or even Falcon, they all are meant for specific tasks and unfortunately they are incompatible with each other. So tomorrow if you are thinking to switch among these then that's not going to be an easy deal for you. Let's talk about next two. So if you want your application to respond in real time then local system or the local setup could be challenging and it may be constrained by your and because it is constrained by your machine's processing power and as most of these models require immense computing power it is not an easy task to manage all these things with our local box and at the same time it would be very difficult to scale up and down because then in that case you have to buy new boxes or you have to do the entire sys uh, setup again. Another challenge, important challenge is to select the LLM and selecting the LLM means you want to select the LLM which is open source and works best for your requirements and currently there are a lot many LLMs which are available in market and are free to use but it is on you, it is up to you to take up a call which one you want to go for. 
as they are meant for certain type of use cases and there is no single model which can fulfill everything from end to end so this is one constraint and another constraint is individual models have their own restrictions for example let's talk about falcon so as per my last reading falcon's training data was mostly available in english with a dash of german french and spanish now think that if you are planning to use some other language let's say you are planning some asian language then of course you may get some res uh, junk results because this language is still not supported by this model now these are just a few set of challenges but i am sure there could be many more feel free to drop me a comment on what all challenges you are facing with all these challenges in mind let's talk a bit more about llms okay so how to run llm locally this is one of the interesting question and I would say first you have to download, you have to set up and run it. So until and unless you have proper tooling in place, it would be a very tedious task. But if you are having the right tool, setting up LLM would be a very, very easy task. And I don't think you will feel that much of pain in setting up everything. But definitely it requires a lot of research to identify which model works best for you, uh, speci uh, specifically on the desktop because not all models support this so this is the thing you need to keep in mind and these are the few examples which I am planning to discuss with you all today so let's start with the GPT-4 all I will point you to the documentation so this is the link which you can go like gpt4all.io slash index.html and it will take you to this official page. Now what it says is if you want to, uh, first thing is it provides you, offers you a desktop chat client which is a very very good thing and you can install it on Windows, Mac OS or even Ubuntu. So all these are supported. Let me scroll down a bit and you can have a look at the interface. So this is how your interface will look like once you are done with the installation. And here are the instructions. So if you are new, you don't know how to do it, definitely you can refer this particular guide. It is having individual sections for Windows, Mac as well as Ubuntu. And these are the performance benchmarks. I would uh, recommend you to go uh, through all these before selecting GPT-4 all for as your LLM so everything they have highlighted few data points which you should definitely consider before using it and apart from all these things uh, one thing is when you will download this uh, uh, model and install like when you will install desktop application for the very first time you will see like around 10 to 11 models which you can run locally let me point you to this link which is github link and here these this is the code base let me go to readme so this, this is one of the most important file I would say and you should definitely go through it once and it is having all the official links how the UI looks like what all things it offers so here these are the chat client uh, links so you can click on these and it will directly uh, get downloaded onto your local box these are the bindings it is supporting and uh, one thing I want to show here is about uh, plugins so let me try this one okay so here if you will come you can see that how the code will look like and it's pretty straightforward once it is installed you just need to uh, this is just a basic example but definitely you can extend it more so you need to provide your model you need to provide your query and you will get the response as you can see over here another thing here you can see is these are the compatible models Falcon, Llama, MPT and GPT-J because they are sharing almost the same architecture here and this is one section so how can you get most out of your LLM so these are some tips which you can go through which you can read and understand how you can utilize this 
And another thing I would say is chat client. So here, yeah, this is the one, the plugins. So local docs uh, be, uh, plugins is the one which will allow you to get answers from your documents which are stored locally. And keep in mind that this is still in beta, so you cannot expect a hundred percent correct response. You may get some hallucinated results uh, uh, while using this, but let's keep an eye on this and definitely it will have a better version out soon. So this is how you can get started. Next one I would go with the LLM. So this is the link for LLM, llm.datacity.io slash en slash stable. And this is the one which, uh, which was introduced by Simon Willison. And here is the quick start guide for this. And it clearly says that first of all you need to install Python and then you can go ahead. So once Python is installed, install your LLM. If you are on Windows, if you are on Mac, then you can use this particular command. This is how you can set up your OpenAI key and here is an example of how you can call it. So using this LLM, let's say it is calling this particular, using this model to query this particular question. So now let's say you are, you have not downloaded this particular model, but still you are interested in querying. So in that case, system will not fail. Rather what it will do is it will go ahead and then automatically download it for you before running your query. So in that case, you will see a small progress bar kind of thing in your terminal as model is downloading. So this is, uh, one thing you can explore this documentation here you can see it is talking about plugins and there are a lot many happenings over here which you can go ahead and explore what all things it can do i will quickly and just have a look at this one so if you are using llm you can either use it via api or you can install it on your local machine so any of these things will work so most of the the business applications will definitely go with the api part and in that case i would recommend you to go ahead and check this out okay let's move on to the third one which is olama so this is the official link olama.ai and this is again a very good model but the only restriction is currently just supported only on mac os and that's the reason you are you can see available for Mac OS, Windows and Linux coming soon. So just have patience if you are liking the Mac version and shortly this will be out. And if you are a command line lover, then I'm sure you are going to love this one because there is just small, few small commands and you can shoot your queries to the model. So similar to LLM, which we have just seen previously, if the model is not yet downloaded, then it will go ahead and download that for you before firing query against that. And I want to quickly point you to this link model. So these are the available models which you can utilize it. So there are right now, there are just handful, but I, I'm sure it's going to, list is going to extend. Another thing is, github so again let's me point you to the readme file here because usually this is the file where you can get the complete end-to-end -end information about how to set up the system and here you can see it is again saying you can download for mac but let's wait for windows and linux and this is how you can run your llama 2 like i said it's just a small query and you are good to go and these are the list of uh, open source models which are available right now with uh, Olama. And one thing I would like to mention here is just read, uh, make a note of this. So you should have at least 8 GB of RAM to run 3B models. And for 16 GB RAM, uh, RAM, uh, 16 GB RAM to run 7B models. And these are how much parameters it is taking. So you can give it a try with 8 GB one and if it works well, definitely you can extend it for another one. So 
let me show you how a command line works. So you need to pull in the model. You need to run it and just fi start firing your queries. Hi, so hello, how can I help you today? You can fire another question and it will ask, uh, give this, it will respond you to your questions. So this is how you can fire queries and utilize this particular model. So this is like, these are three I thought to share with you all today and, but I'm sure there are a lot many ways to run LLMs. For example, like in market, there are a lot many provocate GP2, HDO GPT and in fact could be many more. So I hope you find this small video insightful and do let me know in comments which LLM you are setting up locally and we'll try to talk on those. Thanks for watching.